Hey, well, World Entertainment, and I finally have gotten around to watching The Acolyte Episode 3. God help me. And I'm finally finished with the whole jury duty crap, which was boring as hell. But probably not as boring as this show. Now, you've probably all seen the clip already by now, because everybody's been talking about it. The of course, we're talking about the singing moment of the power of one, the power of two, the power of many. You know, this scene. Yeah, it's worse than you can possibly imagine. It's horrible. And to be honest with you, when you're watching that scene happening, the reaction we all probably have, if we could see ourselves, would look like probably this. So, this episode is full of contradictions as well as subtle little messaging. It takes place 16 years before episode 1, obviously. Not Star Wars episode 1. The, um, the Acolyte's first episode, where we're seeing uh, Osha is her name, which I can remember now because I've literally only watched it, and they kept saying her name. And May, as kids... The two kids they got, look, they're kids. You can't really argue about their performances in terms of it not being up to standard. But at the same time, they are horrendous at acting. That being said, there's so much that's just ridiculous in this. Yes, they are space witch lesbians. That is all but confirmed. It's absolutely no men. This planet they went to to hide, basically, that they were getting, basically, persecuted for being witches. You know, and they give little subtle hints in the dialogue that's kind of like, oh, this is kind of more talking about, you know, the alphabet community and whatnot. It's clear that's what they're talking about. Of course, they're meant to be talking about being witches, but it's very evident what they're ta we're actually talking about. But they go to this planet and they're meant to be hiding. They don't want anyone to know that they're there. And yet they manage to build this gigantic fortress on a mountain. For all to see that lights up and everything. You're like, yeah, way go to stay hidden there, folks. You know, don't, don't uh, build something underground or something to stay hidden. No, no, no. Build it on the top of a goddamn mountain for all to see. And yes, the force is now officially female only they don't refer to it as the force they call it the fred and not just do they call it a fred and speak about it what it is it's the force they can visually make it appear it, it's best that you just actually see what i'm talking about this is them discussing the thread all living things are connected by the same thread, a thread woven through all of existence. So you just see there how oh, you're just like, good Christ. And they're, what they're talking about and why they're talking about this with the kids is they want the kids to ascend to be witches, full, powerful witches. They're going to do this big ceremony that they haven't done in uh, generations or something, they said. Um, and may is super up for it. she can't wait osha doesn't want to be a witch at all she does not want to commit to this but then you also get a line 
in this about what they talk about with the force like they're hinting oh some people call it the force and then she says something which immediately gets contradicted so this is what she says some call it a force and claim to use it but we know the threat is not a power you wield Paul so you hear they think it's a power to be used to be wielded and stuff and she's like that's not what it is at all and she's talking about it binds us now it it's a very modern take on the yoda conversation of what the force is how it binds us and it surrounds us and all this crap but she says it's not a power that can be wielded and then immediately does this to contradict that power of one how exactly is it not a power to be wielded that you just then immediately turn around and use it as a power being wielded jesus christ so the jedi come to the planet they discover the girls they actually ask the permission of the mother who is the black one I can't remember what the hell her uh, name is um and it, like she agrees to it the mad thing about this right by the way you've probably all seen as well the clips of the horned mother uh, whatever she's called as well saying she carried the children as in she gave birth to them while the other one is and i created them there's a very strange thing as well that people have been picking up on and noticing the fact that the girls the ocean and may always refer to to the black mother the one who created them as mother basically they call her mammy like they're super excited to see her every time they're ah, mammy and stuff they always just refer to their birth mother as mother and whatever her name is all these witches title is mother they are all called mother or whatever but the black one is the only one that they never say her name they always just call her mother as in like mammy she's not she's our mammy it's like that's so strange why did they make that choice very weird um but may they convince the kids that you have to lie otherwise the jedi will take you and then by the way this entire episode they are trying to paint the jedi as the villains they're like modern Disney Star Wars really seems to be going out of the way to demonize and villainize the Jedi. So, May doesn't want, or she doesn't want Osha to leave. Osha wants to go and explore the galaxy. She doesn't want to do everything all the time with May. Um, so, she promises May that she will lie. So, May takes the test first and osha goes off and talks to the wookie jedi by the way the wookie jedi what's he called kalnaka or something <laughs> yes people have noticed he has a bit of a man bun it's worse than that because he's also bald that's right we've got a bald wookie figure that one out <laughs> unless it's a haircut choice don't know but may goes in and uh, sorry osha then goes in and starts the test and the first test is what we see anakin doing at the jedi council when they're showing uh, the te the picture test where you know tell us what's on the screen they do that with osha and the first one is like a, a bunny rabbit or something and she says um what did she say it was a droid or something can't remember Oh no, she says spaceship. And Saul goes, correct. He knows she's lying. He goes, correct. And she's kind of caught off guard by that. And the next one is like a droid or something. And she says a mountain. And he says, correct again. And she goes, but that's not what... And she realizes and they're like, were you told to lie? You know, you have to tell the truth and stuff. And all this crap. She ends up telling the mother, yeah, I want to be a Jedi. The mother's trying to convince her like oh, you're just a kid you don't know what you want even though she seemed 
be delighted that May was absolutely desperate to be a witch. It's like, you see what I mean about the contradictions? It's like, you don't know what you want because you're only a kid, while at the same time, it's like, oh, you want to be one of us? Absolutely, of course you can. See, where's that weird, subtle little messaging as well? You know what I mean? We're, we're, we're kind of hinting at what things are being done with kids in these days. You see what I mean? Oh, you're just confused. You don't know what you want. Oh, you want to be one of us? Of course you can. Come on. Yeah. By the way, the, the Jedi interrupt the ceremony with the whole singing crap. After May gets ascended, she's about to ascend Ocean. That's when the Jedi come in. Uh, they turn, uh, what was his name? Turban, Torben, whatever. His eyes black, he collapses, and they're like, oh, if you want your Padawan back, uh, or his mind to be back intact or something, you leave uh, and whatnot and stuff. Apparently, they mind control him in the next episode, and he fights Kalnaka or something. Don't know, don't care. But May or Osha wants to be a Jedi, and they kind of, they're saying, oh, we'll have a conversation, uh, and we'll take your wishes into account. Then we get to how the fire started. And it's May coming into the room and refusing to let Osha leave by threatening to kill her. He flat out tells her, I'll kill you. Again, and this will truly show you, well, number one, how horrible the dialogue is, but number two, how bad these girls are at acting. This is what she tells Osha. I won't let you leave. You can't go. We're stuck here now. It's not up to you. You can't stop me. Yes, I can. How? I'll kill you. Yeah. So she runs out, grabs the book, runs out. This place has electricity. We can clearly see that because all the lights are electric. The door is electric. She locks the door with a keypad. By the way, why does the door only seem to lock from the outside? Yeah, it's a bit sus. Yet she starts the fire because there's a little lantern right outside the door that has flames on it. She lights the book on fire which instantly goes up in flames like the quickest igniting of a page you've ever seen in your life. Which sets everything on fire. What is it with these people that are running this show that do not understand fire? We've just had a fire in space, you know, like a proper little camping fire that just burned and fluttered in the breeze you know you'd have had time to sit down and roast some marshmallows on that thing it was burning that much in space this fire burns down and grows up and crawls up a stone building yeah not like materials on the walls or something like photos or you know curtains or something like that flammable material no the actual stone is going on fire we can see it going across the floor the concrete floor it's like wh why can't these people not understand how fire works are they serious so <laughs> may uh runs off obviously osha escapes the room she's locked in by hacking into so again showing you there's electricity because she basically sparks a couple of wires goes through a tunnel ends up in a dark like computer core type place which just so happens to explode right at that moment and take out one section of this bridge to where ocean may come face to face and you get yet again some of the most horrendous dialogue because may started the fire may has caused all this chaos <laughs> and ocean says to may what did you do and may's response is what did you do and you're like what then the two bridges at the same time start to collapse. Saul comes running in, sees the part of the bridge with May on it fall and May fall. And then Osha's one collapses and he makes it in time to catch her. They leave. As they're leaving, you see all the witches dead. They're just lying on the ground dead. What happened to them? We don't know. They're, but there doesn't seem to be any blaster burns on them. No saber burns on them. Nothing like that. Even though it's clear they're trying to hint that the Jedi are do have done something or covered something up. They go off. Osha wakes up on the ship. He's like, where am I? Where's Mother? And they're like, yeah, they're all dead. We're going back to Coruscant. Blah, blah, blah. And then it ends with 
of seeing the reveal that <gasps> dun 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 May survived. Well, no shit, she survived. We've seen her in the first fucking episode, you morons. <laughs> They're giving us this big reveal. That, oh, she lived. It's like, we know she's lived. But the question now is, what happened to all the witches? How the hell did they die? Did May do that? Are they going to say the Jedi did it? Because what happened? Nothing seems to have happened in this episode that would warrant uh, Torben to off himself in the previous episode. This show is dog shit. And as for the people defending it and the shields and whatnot, Jesus Christ, they must be some devoted window lickers. Truly. And I will have a video coming, probably on Monday, about <laughs> this, uh, the shields and the media and stuff, attacking the fans as usual. But that's the review for episode 3 of uh, The Acolyte. The echo shite, more like it. Um, yeah, there's not really not much more to say about it. Oh, and I understand the fourth episode is just as bad, if not worse. And it's the episode we get to see all the Jedi in the forest lighting their lightsabers up. Yay. By the way, still waiting for this fight, lightsaber fight that's meant to be better and more aggressive and stuff than the Darth Maul, Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon fight. Yeah press the next to doubt. Anyway, with that, I shall leave it there for this one. So cheers, and I'll catch you in the next one.